What's up, everybody? My name is Parker Ament. My name is Danny Ferrari. And we are Excellent Sound. Yes, right. Today, we are very sad. I'm very sad. We're dressed as burglars today, as you can see. We're burglars, and uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're essentially getting it's ready sad, to cry, dude. It's been a sad week. It's been a sad month so it's far. It's been a sad season. It's been if a sad season. you think about it, dude, yeah. the sun went down. Mm. It's like 5 o'clock, and the, the sun's It's just, already dark. It's already dark, dude. All you want to do is just cuddle up next mm. to your fucking hot chocolate and Harry, watch some Harry Potter. Some Lord of the Rings, you know, yeah. and uh, maybe make some music. Yeah. And talk about your feelings. Being sad's okay. I saw uh, that movie Inside Out. Yeah. Sad can also be happy sad. I'm happy sad right now. Can I tell you I'm, why? Yeah, yeah. Tell me why. Let me tell you why. Tell I'm me. happy sad because we got a brand new pack out that just came out called Sad Boys. Okay? Yep. yep. That's right. Full of tears. Full of tears. If you like Millennium, if you like Sad the Sky, Chainsmokers, uh, San Cholo. San Cholo, Slander. Yeah. You would love this pack, okay? 75 serum presets, over 300 samples, and let me tell you, the loops in there are insane. They're, They're super inspiring. I think we probably put too many in there, to be honest probably. with you. <laughs> we put too many. We got really excited. We were making yeah. a bunch of cool stuff, and uh, we just threw them in there. But yeah, it's an amazing pack. Yeah. The other amazing thing, too, for the sad boy season is it's Black Friday coming That's up. That's right. We love Black Friday. We love Black Friday. We love November. Yeah. And we love December. Yep. So we're throwing a huge Excellent Sound dot com sale 40 percent off store wide that's crazy store wide bro 40 percent i don't i don't remember ever doing that ever by before. now no we've never done that before it's okay to be sad we could be happy sad we're happy sad about the fact that sad boys is out and of course that we have a sale we are sad that the sale for november will be ending at the end of november uh we're gonna have another sale uh but it's not gonna be as good so you might be a little bit sad if you guys don't uh take advantage of that sale right now we are gonna be going over the lead to rush over me Ooh. okay this is one of my like favorite sad boy anthems for sure. This is what happens when you throw a bunch of sad boys and girl oh, and in girl. a room. That's right. And fill it with just good musicianship, good songwriting. Oh my god! Like so good. it's it's one of the best anthems ever. And the plays show it. Everybody crying, like you know. Yeah. That's how you know it's a good song. It's when you cry. The shit goes off at the rail at a Linium show. If you know what I'm saying. Shit goes in. <laughs> shit <laughs> comes out too. Shit comes out. <laughs> So we're going to be going over the lead to Rush Over Me, and it sounds a little something like this. Ooh. So this sound is really cool. It's like one of those kind of workhorse sounds that you need to have in your toolbox when you're making sad boys, when you're making like super melodic stuff. Yep. It's a beautiful, beautiful layer to add on top of uh, your nice big chords. It's the annoying um, layer kind of. It is the annoying layer. But it but sounds good. It does sound pretty like by itself. Yeah. You know? So we're going to be giving away this sound for free. That's right. And if you want to know how to get all of these crazy sounds, if you want to get these nice chords right here... If you want to get some nice sick drums, uh, a little knocker, it's like a Dembo knock. We're going to tell you how to get it in a little bit. Just want to tease you a little bit like that. That's right. So we're going to pull up Serum, and it's a very useful sound, very great layer. So uh, Oscillator A, we're going to change this over to a sine wave, and we're going to be doing some really cool FMing. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the unison and we're going to bump the voices up to five. So we're going to put the detune to 0.03, blend knob to 75, random all the way up, and the level about uh, 75%. Really, really nice. Before we get into oscillator B, we're gonna go over the shape of the sound. We're gonna put the attack to 150 milliseconds, and that's gonna kind of swoop in. So it's not quite a pluck. It's gonna be kind of like a nice little ramp up. A little whistle. Yeah, nice little whistle. A little whistle, a little whistle dick right there, dude. <laughs> whistle dick. And then we're gonna put the hold all the way down, decay to 12 o'clock, and we're gonna put the sustain all the way up and the release at 15 milliseconds. It kind of sounds like an ocarina, you know, like it from does. Zelda. Yeah, and there's like no processing on it. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah. The next step is we're going to initiate oscillator B, and we're going to FM from B with another sine wave right here. And we're going to turn the knob to 53%. Usually what we do is we put the level down on the feeding wave, but with this one, it sounds a lot better with 54% level. 
It's those nice harmonics. So it's, yeah, it's the nice harmonics, and it's making a really nice blend. Sine waves are so cool, man. You can really do anything with sine waves. I remember when we, we first started sound designing, we had that conversation where you were like, bro, do you think you could make anything with sine waves? Yeah. Like anything? And I was like, yeah, I think you can. Right, because it all you know? starts from that. Yeah, it all starts from a sine wave, and yeah. you just need like the different tools to kind of kind of do it. Manipulate it. Yeah. Next step right here, we're going to go to the unison, and we're going to make that six voices. And we're going to put the detune to kind of around the same area, 0.04, and blend to 75, same thing, random all the way up, and uh, like I was saying, level at 10.8 dB. Ooh, that's nice. And it really gives that nice hairiness. Uh, and then next up, we're going to put an MG Low filter on to kind of clean up the high end and also boost the harmonics that are actually happening into it. So we're going to put the filter on A and B, and we're also going to put key tracking on, which essentially is going to be filtering the harmonics so it moves with the notes. I love that feature. It's so awesome, like without it. Yeah. And the it's cool like a basic filter with it, with, and the, without it. The cool thing about Serum, like Serum teaches you how to sound design when you use it in a way. Because like I would have no idea what key tracking did back in the day from yeah. like Silent. But because I see it's visually moving the filter every time I hit a note, I'm like, oh, okay. So that's essentially moving to that specific frequency, whatever note I'm hitting in that octave. So it's like just such a cool little feature that they add. Yeah, Steve to Dudo's teach kind of the man design. with that. Look at that. It's just like a little yeah. keyboard right there. Next, after you put this MG Low 12 on, you're going to put the cutoff at 1670, the res at 10%, and the drive's going to be all the way up. Fat is going to be all the way down and mix all the way up. And this drive knob is really, really awesome. Really fattens it up too. Yeah, don't be sleeping on the drive knob. Don't be sleeping. We tell on. you guys in every video. <laughs> Before we go to the post effects, make sure to put mono and legato on and put the portamento knob to 31% because this is like this is the sad boy knob right mm. here, dude. That's Honestly. a nice little glide. You know what I'm boy. saying? there's no glide, it's not sad enough. You gotta slide right into those tears. Really, really awesome. Or slide into something else on an Illinium show. Oh, yeah. Go, we're gonna make two LFOs. This is gonna be the default. We're just gonna have a, li a nice little triangle right here. And uh, we're gonna make a nice ramp up for the LFO too. So the first LFO is gonna be going on the fine tune of A and B. So let's unbypass these. And this is gonna create that uh, really nice vibrato. This is a really good way of just putting vibrato on all of your melodic sounds. I really wish there was a vibrato knob in Serum just I built know, in, I you know? know? I think that would make it just that much better. So maybe in, you know, Serum 2.0 or something like that, he'll add it. Put that on here. We're gonna put this on uh, 16th notes and BPM. And then what we wanna do is we wanna make a dry wet for the vibrato. That is what LFO2 is for. We're gonna make this nice ramp up. So you're gonna wanna put it in envelope mode. So every time the MIDI note hits, it re-triggers. And it'll have a nice little swell in of that verbatza. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to go to the matrix and you're going to make sure that LFO1 is going to the fine tune of A and B. And then you're going to go to this aux source and put LFO2, boom, right there as the, the blend knob. So let's hear that. Yeah. So cool. And that's, that's really the kind of stuff that you want to be looking at when you're doing melodic uh, yeah. music, I feel like, is you want to be messing with the, the tune. You want Absolutely. to be figuring out how to create interest with like more simple sounds instead yeah. of like throwing wubs and growls in your music all the time, you know? Yeah, and I don't think a lot of people know that you can do that type of stuff in Serum, essentially, is creating your own automation of dry wetness. Like, yeah. you, like all those aux sources essentially are dry wet. So the fine tune on A, we're going to put the LFO 1 to 29 and on oscillator B we're going to be putting it to 65 so a little bit more on B and then just a tiny bit on A alright so let's listen to it without all of the effects and the post processing so it's almost there but it's yeah, kind it's of different. like you know it's kind of like all over the place a little bit but we're getting there 
And if you guys like this song and want to get this project file and all of the sounds within it. If you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. You guys check that out. Pick which one works for you. And if you want to get this project file, you want to join the legacy tier, you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. So now onto the effects section. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put a hyper dimension on. So next, after you have the dimension, zero hyper, next is we're gonna add a distortion. We're gonna do diode one, and we're gonna put the drive all the way up. Really, really awesome. That's really scary. giving that nice saturation. And then after that, we're gonna add a multiband compressor. And the threshold's gonna be at 18 dB, ratio is gonna be four to one, attack is gonna be a little faster, 89 milliseconds, release is gonna be 90%, and gain's gonna be 11.4. And I think this is pulled up just a tiny bit on the mids. And this really brings all of that control. A lot of us forget about the, you know, what actual compression does. Yeah. It's, it's like you're putting the sound in a jar and you're just mm -hmm. controlling it and then you're placing it in your mix, you know? Without it, it's like, it's very all over the place. Yeah, you can hear a big difference. Yeah, huge difference. Get your chorus over here, put the LPF over here, mix at 41%, it sounds like this. Mm. And then we're gonna put a hall reverb on it. S small size, a little 17 percenter. Size doesn't matter. DK 3.9, low cut all the way down, high cut at 35%, spin, some spinach at 25%, mm -hmm. and uh, some spinach depth at 20%. Spinach. Eat your spinach, boys and girls. That's right. So now that we got all of our post effects going, let's get into uh, the actual uh, fucking what is it called post processing the fucking processing post processing nailed it we're gonna put a blues amp on all right the blues amp is really really dope for a lot of leads i like using the blues amp on everything but guitar yeah the amp <laughs> i don't fucking use it on any guitar. of my guitars i always put it on on leads it's also very sensitive too you got to really be careful with dialing it in it's one of those plugins you, it's like a you really got to know how to use it yeah exactly and and usually you have to pull the mids down yep. a lot you have to mess with the gain and the dry wets those are kind of like the the little secrets also make sure to put the output on dual so you got a nice little stereo feel yeah i don't think a lot of people know that It's like almost like giving it like a little bit of different type of saturation. It's not it's not pushing it too much. It's nice. Yeah, and it's kind of like, you know, I used to put just guitar amps on fucking everything before I was yeah. like a good producer, you yeah. know? <laughs> I'd put it on vocals and shit instead of like Saturn right. or like an yeah. actual saturator, you know? So really, really cool nug right here. Next, we're going to use an overdrive at the drive at 45%. It's going to be at like 185 hertz down here. Really nice size right here. We got the tone at 56 and just a little bit of the dynamics. So the dry wet's at 32%, and we're using the compression on this just a little bit at 19%. It's kind of a really nice subtle filter. Saturating the low end. Yeah, it's saturating the low end, and it's really kind of shaping the sound. I really like using distortions to filter and reverb to kind of ease the high end. That's what I've been doing lately. You know, yeah. to soften the sound instead of pulling the highs down, you just put a little bit more reverb on it. Interesting. Yeah. So after the, the overdrive, we're going to put a little OT tizzle on there. And we're going to be expanding the mids, expanding the highs a little bit. And uh, the output's going to be at 5.8 dB and dry wet at 51%. Really bringing it together. Since it's the second OTT, we're going to be putting the EQ8 on to cut all the lows. And we're also going to get rid of this devil frequency right here. Is this here. the devil frequency? I hate this frequency. 600. 
around there. I also hate 300. Yeah, you do. You know? 300, everybody's so surprised, but... It's kind of like cutting the mids, though, a little bit. Almost like a... Because it, it does sound like a guitar lead, so, like, a lot of, good, like, metal guitars and stuff is always, like, cutting the mids. Like, that was, like, always the thing is just cut all yeah, the mids Yeah, scooping out. it out. Scooping Scoop it mids, like ice cream. Right. And we're getting rid of that nice high end. Well, it's not nice. It's yeah, it's not nice. Shaping it's it. It's fucking... It's... It's okay. It's okay. A little sizzle. A little sizz. A little too much sizz. Yeah, it's a little bacon sizz, you know? Yep. It's a little bacon action on there. And then after that... Awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. I gave it away for free, and we use it on a ton of random stuff. We're giving away this in the it's, rack, yeah. so you guys can grab that down below. You guys should save that as your own if you want to use it. If you ever open up Nexus, it has like this amazing reverb and delay stock, and it literally sounds like that. It's pretty cool how we made that. We're doing another EQ to cut some more lows, and then we're going to boost 3 kilohertz right here. Killer, killer. And that's really just to bring it out a little bit more. After some delay and reverb, you gotta kind of bring it out just a little bit. See how it's a little bit more flat before. Uh, and then after that, we just have an auto filter kind of just for the the remake for these certain parts where they're when the when it's doing like a super cool melody. So that's a really cool technique when you want to kind of add interest where you're on the verge of crying, but of you tears, don't know why. Sorry. It's because of the filter. Yeah. It's because you're, it's, there's some stuff moving around. There's some auto panage. Really, really nice stuff to make you cry. And that's variation. Yeah. And then also on our lead group, we have a bunch of stuff going on, but it's not really anything crazy. It's more of like mixed stuff. So we got another low cut here. We got a cut cutting the, that high end that we added earlier. So it was probably a little too much after the reverb was added. And then another reverb to kind of soak it up. Yep. And then after the reverb, we want to kind of sculpt the reverb, put it in a jar and put it into the mix. And we're using a glue compressor for that, just minus six and then just making it up by two. Cutting the lows again, another auto filter and the auto pan for these really nice sections right over here. Again, creating just more and more variation for the yeah. sound. Yeah, creating interest, creating tears, and creating, creating tears. hugs. The, the really cool thing about this genre is that it's mainly songwriting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the kind of new thing that, like, Said the Sky does and Illenium, it's, they, make, they make a really good song first, and then it just has a drop at the end that's yeah. just like, oh, my God, it's the release. Yeah. You know, it's building all this tension, telling a story, you right. know? And then there's a big drop at the end. And I, I love that, yeah. honestly. It's very emotional writing. It definitely feels like it's coming from a place of emotion, which is why I appreciate Sad Boy. Yeah. Whereas, like, there's other type of uh, genres that's just kind of more just, like, having fun, partying, or, like, going hard, you know? Like, But there doesn't really... Maybe it brings out a little emotion. Maybe it brings out some, like, release and anger or, you know, that type of stuff. But, like... Something about Sad Boy like touches the soul. Totally. You know and I mean? think it could be because it's like it originates from like bands. And we, yeah. we're all we're all band kids. We're emo you know? kids. We're emo kids, yeah. dude. See our hat see our hats, dude? Yeah, we're burglars or EDM dude? emo kids. How low does yours go, bro? Dude, super low. Look at this. No, even lower, dude. I've never cried. I never cried, dude. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Again, 40% off on the excellentsound.com store Woo. all the way to the end of the month. And if you that. missed it, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. There's going to be another sale, but there's not going to be a 40% off sale. That's good. So make sure to grab your packs now. Tell your friends. Tell your mother. Grab their credit cards. Tell your neighbor. Steal if you have to. Steal change from don't, your parents. Don't, don't steal during the holidays. I used to steal don't. change from my parents. Of course, if you guys want this project file, go on our Patreon. Yep. We are uploading crazy stuff all of the time on there. We have feedback. We got all this really, really fun stuff really great community on patreon yeah. as well dude. And everybody's talking to each other hanging out exclusive uh content you heard it here first thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on the next one let's play it out dude. let's play it out bud